Hey there, welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how we can mount a canvas to a wooden board. This is the canvas. It's all flexible right now. And we're going to mount it on a board like I did with this painting, which is a lot easier to frame. First step is to acquire a piece of hardboard. Well, I got a hardboard over here. I already prepped this. Um, I sprayed some fixative on it just to make sure that no none of the um, substances from the wood can go into the painting because we don't want any um, stuff, um, chemicals from the wood to go into the painting. So with fixative, I sealed it in the board. And the next step is to place uh, the canvas on top of the wood so we can determine exactly where we need to place the wood when we start to glue it. So to do it, we need to go to a window. So let's do it right now. Okay, uh, I'm at a window in my studio now. Don't worry, I cleaned the a window properly before I did this. So if you can see right here, um, I can see where I've painted and where I didn't paint. So I'm gonna simply mark the edges, corners, Marked all the edges. Oh, you can see it. Okay, so we're back from the window. We have marked our edges. So we know where to cut off the white piece. But we're gonna do it after we glued the hardboard on the back of the painting. Uh, so I know exactly whoop, in the corner where it needs to go. And for this, we need a special glue. I've got this, um, let's see if you can get it sharp. Glue, it's a fine art glue from I Love Art, which is uh, made by Herstecker, which is a German art company. Uh, I know Gamblin also has its PVA glue. It's called PVA size, I guess. Um, and you can use it to uh, mount this canvas to the board. Why this glue? Because it's pH neutral, um, which is something you want for the painting. Um, it's also non-yellowing, which is important if it might shine through the layers of paint. So they won't yellow over time. You want your painting to stay the same way as it when you're finished, when you're done painting. Uh, and it also does not absorb, 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 it does not absorb any water, um, uh, which ensures this plate will not warp over time. Also, this will stay nice and straight. So let's go continue and add some glue. So um, I got some paper. Um, this is non-sticky, it's pH neutral. So we know it will not harm the painting. Let's see, I'm gonna place this on top. Next step is the glue. So let's get it. I'm gonna zoom out a bit. I'll come back in a second. I'm gonna cut the paper. You can also use baking paper for this because it's also non sticky. And it's free. Um, let's see. I'm gonna um, first glue this one. Paper we can use later on. When we really stick it to the canvas, let's see. Um, let's put this to the side for a second. So we have our glue. 
and our piece of hardboard. Um, you can place this, uh, the glue on the board, whichever way you like. Um, you can use, for example, a pellet knife, but I got an old, um, yeah, it's a pass. This allows me to fish. I love fishing. Um, so I'm gonna just put it on top. This must surely be enough. And then we're gonna spread it out. on the panel. We're really gonna make sure it spreads even. glue and then too little because you can press it out later it's looking great I think we're almost there make sure you really touch the edges as well You don't want it to come out in the corner. Okay, I think we're there. So let's put this to the side. Now we got our painting right here. Forward. So the next thing is we're gonna line it out correctly and then place it on top. Gently, you can position it exactly the way you want it to be. I see I've moved it's not exactly similar, so let's do it like this. I should have put a mark on the wooden panel as well as on the canvas uh, to make sure um, because it's not exactly straight. This side is a bit longer than this side. So you see, oh, we're always learning. I'm learning from our mistakes. And can gently rub it in a bit. See, it's really in position. This corner is correct. Correct. Correct as well. You can use a piece of towel or cloth to remove some of the excessive paint. Uh, paint glue. Don't really worry about it because it seals the side of the board as well double check final check okay i'm happy with the placement so what we're gonna do now Gotta clean my hands and then put this piece on a new piece of paper or just turn it around. Yeah. Like this. So we got our paint underneath. Put this paper on to protect it from my hands. 
and then we grab a roller. You can also do this with your fingers. I don't really like it. I stick with the roller. And then we go from the inside out. And we're really gonna roll the glue. And really make sure it goes everywhere. I'm not pushing too hard. Because in this beginning I want to make sure it goes everywhere gently. Make sure to also roll around the corners, or the edges of the painting. Because you really want it to stick everywhere. I'm gonna slightly increase the pressure. Here, a bit of a Perfect. Put this one on top again. Let make sure the edges are glued as well. And then we can continue to the next step. I'm gonna turn it upside down and then we are going to take some heavy stuff which we can put on top. So we got the books. And the first uh, thing uh, or book we put on it needs to be larger than the painting. So it really uh, presses down on every corner of uh, the painting and uh, which assures it is glued everywhere. And then just place some books on top. An airbrush book, also a drawing book from Charles Bark. And a sketchbook. I think this is heavy enough uh, and now we need to wait for a whole day uh, and then we can remove the books and see how it um, went. I know from experience it will be okay uh, and then we can trim off the edges of the canvas. So uh, let's come back tomorrow. So then we take an exacto knife with a knife sharp blade.
here's the end result. So we got our canvas mounted to a hardwood board and it's ready to be framed. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like and press the notification button so you know I've posted a new video.